Hello everybody, welcome to Bear Reviews with me, your host Jack, and tonight we have a bit of a showdown between two beers from the same brewery, but uh, they're both sort of in the same style, so I thought it would be kind of cool to compare the two, and it's from one of the UK's kind of leading craft breweries, I suppose. It's Beaver Town with their Skull King in one hand, and we've got the Double Chin from the Beaver My Valentine, their anniversary celebration the other one as well. First things first... Look at the artwork, awesome as always from, oops, that's probably better for you though, awesome as always from Viva Town, really cool artwork, and all wrapped around these gorgeous looking cans as well. Uh, what I will point out to you, which is, I think a really cool trick is, this is a label, it starts about here, going along the top, but can you see the, the cans are screen printed in the nice starry pattern, and they just wrap a label around it. You can probably better see with this one, because there's been a bit of a bad job with the uh, wrapping on this one, and there's actually like a big ridge there, not that it matters really. Um, so that's awesome, cool way of getting around the, the having to kind of order 50 million cans at one time. But about the beers, a little bit more about the beers themselves. So we have a uh, double chin, which is a double neck oil. And I had a look on the website, and they've actually, they're really good, and they've got all the info up on the website as well. Um, this pretty much is a double a double neck oil. Uh, reading the hop list to you, it's got Simcoe, Columbus, Centennial, Vic Secret, Galaxy, Amarillo, Mosaic. I mean, a who's who of amazing hops. And the only thing I can say that's slightly different about this one is that it's got a bit of carapils in and not just extra pale malt, although maybe they've changed um, the neck oil recently. I do not know. And then the second one, bring it up on the computer as well, is Skull King, which is a kind of proper bona fide a double IPA, I suppose, rather than calling it a double neck oil. Um, this is, a, I guess, bona fide, and it's a little bit stronger, so it's 8.5 for the double chin and 8.7 for this fellow here. And this has got Target, Amarillo, Centennial, Citra, and Columbus. So it's a completely different hot profile, almost. A lot more classic on this one, I suppose, when you've got the Centennial, Columbus, and Citra in there, and some Target as well, assuming for bitter in. Um, which is cool, and this is pale and caramel as opposed to extra pale and um, carapil, so I'm expecting the Beaver My Valentine to be a little bit different at least. So we'll start by doing, just for this video at least, we'll we'll do, we'll do start with the um, double chin, which is only a nice 8.5%. Surprise, surprise. Uh, better start off with a beer that's not going to crush our palate too soon, you know that extra 0.2% is really going to pay dividends later on. Um, as you hear, cracking nice and open, and into a glass. And as you can see, it's pretty pale in colour. It's got a nice, just hint of peach. It's just a little bit darker than you, and the kind of strawberry, I suppose, with a nice, big, fluffy head on the top of it as well. It's going to stick around for the ride. Looking pretty cool. Um, by the looks of it, it's it's pretty it's pretty clear. There's a little bit of haze to it. I'm not sure if it's can condition. I'm assuming not, to be honest. Looking pretty swish, to be honest. So on the nose with this uh, double chin. Ooh, juicy. Wow, definitely a big, big up front on the on the tropical notes of this boy. It's got a. I, I always seem to remember nickel being really dank, a really, really marijuana -y. And this this has a similar sort of hint of marijuana -y dankness to it, but really tropical too. I mean, passion fruit is the major thing that's coming through, alongside the typical thing I always say of mangoes when I say anything passion fruit, uh, anything tropical, but particularly passion fruit seems to be coming through. Something pineapple -y too. But it smells really juicy, just with a kind of hint of dankness to it. Fantastic aroma, jumping out of the glass, what you would expect or want from a big, strong pale ale slash double IPA. So cheers, let's get in there and give it a try. Mm. First thing, as it hit the tongue, was the resinous mouthfeel that I love in a double IPA. This sort of intensity and... and, and, and oh. How to call it? Kind of oily consistency on the on the tongue that you just know you're drinking fresh hop oil, and that's really cool. And that's the first thing that hit. As soon as it touched the tongue, I just got that resinous mouthfeel. That's fantastic. And pretty much, what you get in the aroma is what you get on the palate. It's really passion fruit and tropical with a really dank note behind it. I'm not going to say piney. Um, I, I don't think that's coming through. I think it's much kind of juicier than that. Kind of reminiscent to me of uh, Cloudwater's first double IPA. The second one was obviously a lot juicier. Well, the first one had a bit more kind of resinous note to it. And this this has that similar res resinicity to it, I suppose. But it's a damn good double IPA. That's, that's what I say about it. Big and punchy and hoppy. That's all what it's about. There's a tiny little bit of sweetness at the back of the palate. Almost that kind of bready, doughy flavour. Um, coming through, and that's all you get from the malt bill. It's just singing, screaming, tropical fruity hops and that resinous mouthfeel. It was exactly what I would like in a double IPA. Really cool. 
at the time of this video and this is it's now in the middle of March so uh, it's about a month old so it's still got that really great freshness to it as well um, considering this was released pardon me on the 13th of February for um, the day before Valentine's Day hence why it's beer but my Valentine beer cracking really good I enjoy that a lot so um, please like favorite comment and subscribe and keep and keep watching because We'll probably do a new video now and go move straight on or after I finish this one at least onto the Skull King and do a little comparison with it. So, cheers everybody.